Hi guys, welcome back. Marvel's Secret Invasion has earned mixed reviews since its debut, but the finale is garnering criticism for doing precisely what She-Hulk mocked. The sixth episode of Marvel's Secret Invasion is officially out, and Marvel fans are pointing out that the contentious climax is precisely what She-Hulk mocked last year. Secret Invasion is a direct sequel to Captain Marvel, which takes place in the 1990s. Nick Fury and Captain Marvel have failed to fulfill their vow to discover a new planet for the shape-shifting extraterrestrial species Skrulls in the decades since they originally came on Earth. Now, a rogue Skrull faction led by the vicious Gravik has planned to wipe out all humanity and take Earth as the new Skrull homeworld. Among the many surprises and turns in the secret invasion climax was the development of the toughest Super Skrulls ever. Gravik and Gaia engage in a superpowered beatdown after obtaining the Harvest, Nick Fury's collection of DNA from every superpowered individual at the Battle of Earth and Avengers, and game, including pseudo-cameos from various MCU heroes and villains. The climactic fight appears to contradict the slow burn secret invasion that had been built up until that point, and it closely resembles the DNA stealing ending that Jen finally retcons in the She Hulk finale. Below are other fan reactions expressing the same sentiment. At Nova Mania on 7 posted a screenshot of Hulk vs. Abomination from the She Hulk finale, pointing out that the show poked fun of enormous, overpowering brawls that appear out of nowhere. At RICHRDLNEWBY expresses their dismay about the abrupt final battle, suggesting that She-Hulk should have appeared and Rickon the entire thing. At Travis B. Snell brings up the amusing coincidence of Marvel continuing to conduct over-the-top, CGI heavy ending battles in every project after mocking them. The end of the Secret Invasion splits fans of Marvel Super Scroll Gravik's Secret Invasion. The finale of Secret Invasion has divided fans since it seemed hurried while also finally exploring some of the topics that the program should have addressed much earlier. As a result, the finale answered some problems too quickly, didn't answer others at all, and left the MCU with some strange cliffhangers that don't appear to be resolved anytime soon. The Secret Invasion conclusion finally presented some major changes to the MCU, but how much they will impact it remains to be seen. Most egregiously, it appears odd that Fury eventually walks away from his failure and leaves Earth to cope with the consequences of his failure. Humans are aggressively chasing Skrulls and have proclaimed all aliens, including as guardians, to be enemies of mankind when he returns to space. Gaia is also endowed with unfathomable power, able to channel the talents of dozens of Marvel heroes and villains. It's tough to understand how any future confrontation might be unpleasant with her in the background. These revelations aren't necessarily awful, but they appear to be a mid-season development rather than a limited series ending. Thanks for watching. To the last stand of the great Nick Fury.